I love painting big murals. There's like a freedom in being able to extend my arm all the way out and move my body and all that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a dance you're doing to the wall. I like to play a lot of hip hop and stuff like that, but also music that's very instrumental because then I can just feel the music, feel the vibes and just let it flow, you know? When I'm not listening to music, my painting feels uh, lonely. <laughs> We're at HHLA, where Sneakertopia is taking place this year. Sneakertopia is being billed as like the largest pop-up museum for sneaker culture. This venue is like a 15,000 square foot venue. It's gonna be showcasing sneakerhead collectors, murals, installations, all kinds of projects that are related to sneakers, not just on one dimension of collecting sneakers, you know, as a fashion thing, but its connection to music, art, and culture. I'm personally creating art that has to do with the music aspect. I think my relationship with sneaker culture is more from, I think, uh, a hip hop point of view than a graffiti point of view. You know, growing up, obviously Run DMC was one of the first you know, groups that I loved and introduced me to hip hop and so everyone started wearing Adidas and shell toes back then. I wouldn't consider myself like a real hardcore sneaker head, but I do enjoy like the colorful uh, sneakers and that's one thing I think that I think sneaker culture has embraced and what I love about it is that you, know, you can do whatever you want with sneakers now every, every color every fabric every style it's almost like kicks now are an extension of not only your fashion sense but like who you are like it's part of your identity I've worked with Puma with Nike with Adidas but it's very interesting to me, having grown up, you know, remembering as a kid, there wasn't like a connection really with like Nike. Like I didn't remember like a personal relationship with any of these brands, you know, growing up. But then, you know, now that I'm an adult and see the connection and how important it is, you know, whether it's through graffiti culture, street art culture, uh, hip hop, whatever, these brands really want to make a connection with what's going on. So Justin Fredericks reached out to me, he's the curator of this exhibition, and said, hey, you know, we're doing this Sneakertopia thing and we're looking for some artists that could help us, you know, with the vision of it and who are doing work that's related and we love what you're doing, are you interested, you know? It felt like they were doing it right. A lot of times you see these pop-ups that happen where they're, they're just kind of fly by night, right? It's just like someone just puts a lot of money and just to make something look good for a night or two, but there's no soul in it, there's no like legitimacy around like the artist involved or whatever. And this one is, this is like a real exhibit. That's gonna be like a kind of a playground slash art gallery. It's a project where I was able to like experiment a little bit and just do something that's maybe a little bit more fun, less serious, but still very true to what I'm doing, you know?